But the true, true person that's going all in in all areas understands that that's not how you reward yourself. That you have to continually level up and continually be pushing the boundaries of every single aspect of your life to become extraordinary. Life goals is something that I consolidated you know, the option of going through, um, mm -hmm. go through on a regular basis. How is it different and how is it similar to Tom's training? And maybe how has it also changed the way that you do life goals or other people do life goals? Yeah, so we started this process called life goals, which if you look at life, so L, love, which is relationships, I, influence, which is the mind, uh, F, finance, which is your business, and then E, energy, which is your body. So the clear difference, just looking at it uh, um, on the front end is that now there's five. Five pyramids where there was four with life goals, and really the fifth is, is splitting the mind into intellect and spiritual or intellectual and spiritual because they're two completely different things the way we look at it and we kind of embody that all in one uh, with life goals. The biggest thing though is, you know, life goals, you know, we were creating three goals, three 90 day goals in each of the four areas. And then we would get on a call uh, every month and just really go through and hold them accountable. You know, how are you doing on these? How are you doing on these? Why, what's going on? What can we do to, to, to get that back on track? And then every uh, 90 days, you look at, okay, which of these things are you pretty much unconscious now? Like you're doing these, like they're habit, like you don't really need them um, in there. You're going to continue doing them whether or not we're talking about it every month. Um, what can we add in there now? And that gives you the ability to level up. Whereas, you know, with the five pyramids of human performance and those formulas, it's just way more involved. So whereas life goals, is just the goal setting and then accountability. What we're doing with Unbreakable Leadership is we're setting that goal, but we're identifying first who we are. So our identity in that goal. Um, because, you know, if you're in a life goal session and you say, hey, I've, I've got a goal of, you know, I need to lose 25 pounds in the next 90 days. Okay, great. Well. If your identity is someone that's out of shape, then when you lose 25 pounds, you're gonna gain them right back and probably a little bit more because you haven't changed your identity and who you see yourself as. So like fit versus fat, like if I still think I'm fat, I can lose 25 pounds, I'm still gonna think I'm fat. And I'm gonna go back to being what I was, if not worse. But if I can change my identity first and say I'm fit and then set a goal that, that portrays someone that is fit, then as you start getting progress and momentum, it just keeps reaffirming that who you're saying you are. And it's just a whole, it's a, it's a paradigm shift really for people. But going through the formula and looking at all the different things you need, looking at the partners involved, creating the action plan, all of that is just, it's just way more in depth. And so it's way more like the nuts and bolts of not just like, what are your goals, but detailing out great detail how you're going to accomplish.